past the bridge. Donald Wilkinson or whatever. There goes a heron. Most of the people in these motor vehicles would appear to be Board retirees. This must be the main drag that everybody goes up and down all day, lacking much of anything better to do. They've got gasoline burning covered though. And then we just have long paved straight away an assortment of dwellings what is it called Lumbush Downs and it's private more great marsh idea what this rusty thing is but it's been around for a long time and there's your classic sort of funny little beach cottage Coming up on the Massachusetts Audubon Joppa Flats facility. <laughs> this is definitely a fairly miserable stretch of the Bay Circuit. <laughs> An interesting introduction. For those who chose to start at its northern beginning, but then what are they going to do? <laughs> it's really the only way out of the trailhead at Plum Island. Lobster is closed on Tuesday. 
They got chowed in too. There's an old shack. And yet another frantic fire and rescue vehicle heading out to the island. There. This particularly miserable part of the Bay Circuit Trail has now pretty much been covered. I'm about at where I started over by Joppa Flats here and the little Plum Island Airport. It's an interesting taste of walking along highway in an essentially rural place with this mysterious amount of nothing traffic. Lots of traffic going to nowhere in particular. And thus the cycle is complete. Right over there is Joppa Flats, which I'll visit momentarily. This is where the Bay Circuit turns through a little bit of the Plum Island Airport in order to go over to the Spencer Pierce little farm, which I may visit today. I've been there before, but I haven't done it justice. But for now, I'm going to go visit Mass Audubon. 